It's an ancient ritual. A girl is submerged in water repeatedly, and each time she emerges from the water, she would make a different sound, as if a different spirit had possessed the girl, until the girl was pushed under the water and didn't breathe. Everyone thought the ritual had failed. The next moment, the girl was back from the dead, but no one could have imagined that this time it was the dreaded inferno that possessed the girl. The man was an archaeological scientist. He believes that all strange things have a rational scientific explanation. But when he saw this ancient ritual, it completely changed his mind. The inferno found the scientist at night. The horror of the inferno scared the scientist so much that he fainted. But when he woke up again, he found himself hanging. His body was wrapped in white cloth to become a mummy, and he wanted to struggle to escape. But he couldn't use his strength because he was suspended by iron hooks. When he looked down, he was stunned by what he saw on the ground. A woman had come up to him. She looked in through the outside window. She saw the maggots writing on the floor. She was stunned. Inside the house, men were hanging from huge iron hooks. There were several large wriggling maggots on the floor. The man tried to free himself from the hook, but he couldn't muster the strength to do so. In the next moment, he shook off the cloth wrapped around his arms. He was shocked by the state of his body. His entire skin was gone. The noise of his struggle instantly stirred up the maggots underneath. The maggots had not eaten for a long time. If it fell down, he would become a meal for the maggots. But if it did not go down and hang here to dry, he might end up turning into a maggot too. Just when he didn't know what to do, a woman found this place. Looking in from the window outside, saw the beak maggots riding on the ground, and instantly understood the man's current situation. The woman told the man not to worry, but the iron door could not be opened from the outside. However, the next second, the woman saw a bizarre scene. The man's back actually grew butterfly wings, but she never thought that a sharp pain also came from her own back, and it seemed that something grew out and slowly stretched out. But it was also a pair of butterfly's wings. At this time, in another parallel space behind the doctor, also grew a pair of wings. He slowly crawled on the ground and reverently crawled to the butterfly monster's side. Just when the butterfly monster thought he had control of the doctor, he took out a knife and sent the butterfly monster to God with one stroke. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dorothy also rescued the mummy. The mummy then punched the butterfly specimen, thinking that he had successfully eliminated the butterfly monster, but he never thought that another even more terrifying monster was coming. It's a mutated turtle monster. The humans have only one container for defense. An old man is repairing his gun. Suddenly he felt something strange outside. So he wakes up the sleeping young man, Mr. Nobody, with a bottle of wine, mocked Willoughby for being too sensitive. But Willoughby insisted on trusting his sixth sense. Willoughby opened the door gently to check for movement, but found nothing but feuds of weed in front of him. So Willoughby went back into the room and gently closed the door. However, he never realized that there was a turtle hiding behind the haystacks. And not just one, but every haystack. Obviously, the container was surrounded by countless turtle monsters. This kind of monster has a very high IQ and a strong sense of community. At the leader's signal, the turtles attacked. Willoughby and Mr. Nobody heard the commotion outside and rushed to grab their weapons to defend themselves. As bullets were fired, more and more monsters were hit and fell down. However, there were too many monsters, and one of them crashed through the door. Willoughby was pushed to the ground. He was about to be torn apart by the monsters. Willoughby tried his best to detonate the grenade, 